Well, it finally happened. The word on the street is, is that Vectorizer AI is no longer free. A tool that many of us in the K, uh, KDP community have used for our coloring books and for our stickers and other, other stuff has finally gone to the payment plan. You get to the page, it looks pretty harmless. You put in your image, it does its work just like it always did. It looks like it's normal. You click to download and then all of a sudden, well, you're still taken to a page. It looks like you should be fine. And then you click the download button and oh no, that's when you finally see that they want you to pay now a monthly fee. So while it's $9 a month, you know, that's a hundred bucks a year, you have to make a decision. So luckily there are other vectorizers that are out there that we can still use. This one still is one of the better ones, but there are other alternatives. So let's cover some of those other alternatives right now. There is vectorizer and I will leave links down below uh, in the description for these other free opportunities. And I'll also, if you stay to the end, I will let you know how to find out about a whole bunch of other vectorizing tools that you might want to consider. Some are free, some are paid, but you'll be able to decide. Now, the nice thing about this vectorizer tool is that you can do vectorizing images in bulk, something that we couldn't do before. And you can do up to 20, and then you just download them all into a zip file. Now, the thing is, is that these are not as crisp as Vectorizer AI. And then there's another one, it's called SVG Converter. And you can do one by one on this one. And this also gives you some extra tools that you can use. So it is free to use. Um, and it actually has a little bit more power than what we are used to. And it gives you these tools over here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So it gives you some control over here and there's videos up here. So you can uh, do the video tutorials if you want to take a look at this tool. You have the opportunity to look at details and if you're doing coloring pages that have grayscale, I have found that this is very helpful to do black and white on here. You're going to have to play around because your images are all going to be different. Leave these the same. And then when you vectorize, oh, I switched it to black and white, didn't I? So it totally vectorized all the color out, didn't it? So we'll leave it at color. We'll vectorize it again. And so now you have the image vectorized. We can look in there you go now you can see this is pixelated over here and then this is the vectorized option and you know if you're using flat images like this that have few colors in it then it's going to do a fairly good job and you also can edit the image here which is really kind of nice because you can do some cleanup on the images and I'll leave you to look at the tutorials to do that. I'll also leave um, a link to a video that a guy named Anders did where he actually goes through this tool a little bit more completely. Since I'm really not a graphic artist, I'm going to defer to people who know more than I do in this particular topic. And he actually does a really good job showing how to use this tool. The other thing I'm going to do is because I want to keep this short, I just wanted to get the news out there is I'm going to also leave a link to my favorite guy, Juno at Detour Shirts. And he does a complete video on seven different apps and he actually showcases each one of them side by side in this 32 minute video. There's no way I could possibly do all that because he's an expert in making shirts and understanding graphics and understanding vectorized uh, images. And so I'm going to defer to, to Juno to explain this to you and let you look at his video. So I'll leave that link below as well, because he does cover seven apps in detail and let you make the decision of which ones you want to use. Some are free, some are paid, and so you'll get to decide. So with that, I wanted to just let you know, unfortunately, 
our favorite vectorizing tool has now become paid. Oh well, that's what happens. <laughs>